Chris, happy Friday. One of my favorite days of the week. As a matter of fact, I am so excited because after I finish this video with you guys, I'm gonna go out to lunch with my son Gabe, and then we're gonna come back and pack, and we're heading on vacation to Florida. So, so super exciting. So here's one of the things that um, has been coming up in a lot of my uh, programs and groups, and I just wanted to share it because I see a lot of future problems. A lot of coaches, a lot of people are creating future problems that actually don't exist, right? And I wanna say that I get it, it's normal, that's what our brain is designed to do. Our brain is designed to protect us, to keep us from doing the new thing that we don't know how to do yet, or take the action that we're not sure that's going to happen or whether it's going to work because our brain basically says anything new, anything that we don't know how to do, we're actually going to die from. So I get it. And I want to share something really, really valuable. There's two analogies that I want to share with you today really quickly because um, I shared them with some of my clients and it made such an amazing impact. As a matter of fact, I just got off a two hour workshop today on how to create your uh, 1K to 5K within 30 days. And the women on this group were so incredible. They walked away with so much empowerment, so much excitement with goals anywhere from 3,000 all the way up to $7,500. It was really, really exciting. And so I just decided spur of the moment that I wanted to share some of the things that we talked about today that are gonna help you make a shift if you see that you are either procrastinating or you are, um, not taking action in a way that you want to and how you can make a shift. So again, know number one that our brain is designed to scan for danger, right? Our brain wants to keep us safe, it wants to conserve energy, and so it is going to be looking for the obstacles. But here's the thing, and I want you to think about this. If we think about any, um, any uh, for example, Olympic athlete, since the Olympics is coming up, right? I think the opening games are tonight. Um, I remember when I was watching the Winter Olympics, and I think it was Lindsay, um, can't remember her last name, um, but she was, she was a skier, downhill skier, right? And the camera was focused on her, and she was at the top, and she was ready to ski down the hill, and she had her eyes closed, and you could see that she was just kind of moving and swaying, and you could see that she was actually seeing the run as it was happening in her mind before she was actually doing it. And what she was doing is she was following a clear path in her mind first. She was focusing on what it was going to look like and feel like, and that's why she was even moving her body, right? Because she was feeling what it felt like to actually go around the flags or jump over the moguls. And she was following the path in her mind. And what she was focused on was getting down the hill speedily and, and winning and, and having success. What she wasn't focused on was well, what if I hit the flag? Well, what if I miss this piece? Well, what if I fall over the edge of the cliff? Well, what if I crash? She was focused on her success and she was focused on a clear path going down the hill instead of the obstacles or the barriers that might be on the sidelines, right? Could it happen? Sure, it could happen, but it's not going to happen when you're focusing on following the clear path, when you're focusing on the outcome that you do want to have instead of focusing on the outcome that you don't want to have. And I see this all the time, all the time, whether it comes from, well, I'm afraid to get a rejection. I'm afraid to get a no. I'm afraid to have a conversation with somebody because I don't want them to say no. You're focusing on what it is that you don't want. You're focusing on what it is that doesn't work. So in order to shift, I want you to shift and I want you to ask yourself a better feeling question. What is it that you do want and what does that look like? If you don't want to get rejection, hey Tammy, oh I'm so glad to see you. If you don't like getting a no, stop thinking about it. Stop focusing on it. Thinking, Think about what would it be like when you absolutely got to serve somebody? What would it feel like when someone said, yes, I am so darn excited to speak with you. I am so darn excited to work with you. Focus on what it is that you do want. I wanna give another example. Think about Michael Jordan, right? One of the best basketball players, right? And there was an interviewer and he asked him, hey Michael, do you ever think about not making the shot? And he's like, why would I think about something that hasn't happened yet? Why would I think about missing a shot that hasn't happened yet? And that is so true, right? So often we're focused on missing the shot. We're focused on what could go wrong. Instead, I want you to play a different game. I want you to play the game of what could go right. 
what could go right? And I want you to focus on it going right. And I want you to see it actually like Michael Jordan does when he takes the shot. He doesn't just take the shot and then go off the basketball court or turn around. He takes the shot and in his mind's eye, he sees it going in the hoop and he follows that ball with his eye all the way in and through the hoop. He sees it to fruition. He sees the whole thing happening. And what ends up happening is that the shot goes in. Now, does it happen 100% of the time? No, but even if it goes in 50% of the time, he still has an amazing success. And you will too, if you focus on the things that you love doing and you focus on the things happening for you, instead of all of the possibilities and all of the things that could go wrong. So stop focusing and creating on future problems that don't exist. Stop focusing on the shot that doesn't go in. Focus on what does it feel like? What does it look like to see the shot absolutely going in? Focus on the clear path. Focus on what it is that you do want and feel the feeling of what that feels like. Learning to focus can be challenging, Tammy says. So I just want to say that that's just a thought. It's actually not challenging. It's actually a discipline. It's actually just being willing to notice, hey, I'm focusing on something that could go wrong. And now I get to shift it. You just get to choose again. Choosing again is not hard. You just get to be willing to choose again. And this is another statistics that actually one of my coaches and mentors shared with me. And it's that when we take a look at 90% of the people who are not creating success, it's not because they can't, it's because they're not willing. It's because they're creating stories about all of the reasons why it's so hard or all of the reasons why it's so challenging or all of these circumstances for why you can't have the XYZ experience. And those are just stories and those are just thoughts. You are in control of your thoughts. You get to make a different choice. If you notice that you're focusing on a future problem that doesn't exist, notice that and be like, okay, I don't want that. What is it that I do want? What would it feel like when I do have that experience? And tap into that over and over and over again. And then I've got one last thing for you. And uh, again, this came up. I love sharing what comes up with in my client conversations. I was working with one of my clients yesterday and I told her, I said, don't be surprised if I do a Facebook Live around this because this was so, so good. So a lot of times we are asking ourselves as we're expecting um, something to see something first, right? Um, where's my stuff? Where's my client? Where's the money? Where's the thing? And we're like, I don't see my stuff. And the reason that we're not seeing it is because we are not... Uh, energetically tapped in to that frequency. And here's what I mean about that. Think of a radio station, right? If you are listening to a radio station that is playing music that you don't like, maybe you don't like country, maybe you don't like hard rock, maybe you don't like classical, you are tapped in and tuned into that radio station and you're seeing that and you're focusing on that and you're getting frustrated and you're feeling icky, right? And it doesn't mean, though, like we know that you can actually just change the radio station and go to a station that makes you feel better. The frequency of a radio station is there are unlimited possibilities here. You can pick so many different radio stations with which to choose. That's what the quantum field is like. There are unlimited possibilities. You just get to dial in to the outcome that you most desire. You get to dial in and to match that. So if you are getting something in your life right now that is not what you desire, stop focusing on that and start focusing on what it is that you do want. Change the darn channel. Change the channel. Go to the radio station that you do want. Go to the radio station that gives you a better feeling. Go to the thought that gives you a better feeling because your thought creates your feelings and the feelings is what is going to attract to you. And that is so, so exciting because that means that you are 100% responsible for the results that you see in your life right now. And you can do that simply by changing the channel, simply by choosing on what you focus on. Okay, my friends, I hope this was super helpful for you. I would love to know from you, what are you focusing on? What can you celebrate today? As Friday, what can you celebrate? What can you focus on that is giving you an amazing feeling? What are the thoughts that you can focus on that is gonna raise your emotional feeling to something that feels enjoyable, that feels fun, that feels pleasant? 
because that is what is going to allow you to create more of those experiences and attract more of those experiences to you in your life. Okay, have a great day. Bye, everybody.